Uh, once again, we punched it up there. There's the numbers. Just for the heck of it. And this track. Oh, we were low this time. That needle was buried. I'm going to see it get up there. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Can we get up there? And not. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? Oh, well. The thing doesn't work here. It's 339. Yeah, I'll go 56. 50. Yeah. We'll just do that. And these guys don't snap back. <laughs> cool. Yeah, why not? My videos are my receipts nowadays. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I love knowing exactly what that does now. I mean, down to the mechanics of it. Anyway, temperature's a little bit higher than I would prefer. Let's get on the road again. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna shut off for now. Oh, um, there was one more thing I had to say. And I guess I may as well say it while I still have the camera rolling here. You know what? Let's do this. Cause then I can pay attention to driving and talk at the same time. Okay, one of them. Otherwise you're not gonna be able to hear me. Okay, radio down. It's, uh, it's cool and up in here. Okay, I uh, today's class basically we just covered the two endorsements of three we're going to be getting at this class it be tanker trailers as in you know those big fuel tank trucks you see that's one of the endorsements and then doubles and triples which means you're towing two and three trailers behind your truck so I went down to the DPS today I got those two past them easily so now the only thing I have left is all of the driving itself which is next week and then once we actually get our CDL licenses rather than just permits we have the hazmat endorsement we can take but you can't take it before you get the CDL so there's that anyway that's the update for now it is currently 1:23 in the afternoon and I am heading home because I don't feel like going anywhere else right now <laughs> so yeah you guys I will talk to you later on Yeah, go ahead and get in that left lane. 
light now. And the next light comes up pretty soon after this one. I'm watching for it. See his truck. 
you know, you're watching him, if you see him come back or get in that truck or whatever, then you act accordingly. Right now everything's good. short ago did I just do this <laughs> well this thing's gonna be taking off the filters and all that fun stuff but check out the price 333 in Tyler it's 339 in Longview 345 how did I get this price well it's on the highway on the way to and from the school so it works out absolutely perfectly and as far as my I think my jiggers are concerned. You can turn off the e handle run. They can do that all they want. 3075 and 132 213. And we're coming up. We weren't quite down below empty, but we were starting to touch it. The little light was about to start coming on, so we were getting there. Still good gas mileage. I like it. But anyway, got this. My no, I have my attention. Whatever. Anyway, we're almost full. So we're gonna get pulled up. Oops, my gas cap went for a little dive down here. And we're getting close. And there it is, 49.49. How do I always get that number, 49? It's telling me something. Wasn't quite there yet. Boom, fifty-two dollar, one fifty-five, seventy-three, or something like that. Now I will tell you a little story about this. I once left this gas cap sitting on a pump in Anchorage. And then I drove down to Seward, or was it Homer, or the Nilchik, or something, somewhere around there. But I didn't realize it until halfway through the trip, when, and it was already too late by that time to go back and get it. So I didn't get my gas cap. I had to go out and buy a new one in Kenai, where the price of it was like 10 times higher. So never did that again. I usually keep the gas cap sitting right here in the door where I'm not gonna forget it. So anyway, we're going to take off here and take a right on back on 349 after this car goes by. And we'll be home in just a little bit. Not too far ahead. We're coming up on those stop signs. And we're going to go boom! Okay, so we just filled up this sucker with $200 worth of diesel. <laughs> Killing it. Got the dummy pump over there for the second tank. Uh, yep. And we're just driving. We'll get up in the cab here, you can see what's up. Oh, you saw me, whoa, driving yesterday. Oh, so, got your headlights, your park lights. Bright lights, that's the same as any other car. Blinker left, blinker, blinker right, hazard lamps. Engine water temp, alternator, tack, speedometer, oil pressure, fuel gauge, oil temperature, your application, applied brake pressure. First tank, second tank. And then you got all these little buttons over here. That's for the dome light in the back. 
and then you got your uh, odometer and trip odometer settings that's all up here cruise control engine jake brake with its selector switch and this thing has some sort of four wheel drive on the back tandem axle you can connect the two tandem axles and have all four wheels spinning or actually all eight technically you got a sliding fifth wheel that can go forward or backward and select that off air suspension in the back raise it up or down I have no idea what this one is and nobody else seems to either but this one's fog lamps cargo lamp engine cooling fan heated mirrors and a spare switch with a radio that doesn't work <laughs> and of course you got your HVAC controls AC recirculate sleeper cab controls also back here missing a knob but that's okay and also that switch controls the dome light as well and then you got your wiper control push the button for water and your dash dimmer and that's pretty much it oh and this little thing over here is for your trailer brakes and only the trailer brakes this one controls all the brakes obviously and then of course you got your shifter all the way over and down it's first second third fourth and fifth and you flip this little lever up and it's right back to first again to sixth seventh eighth ninth ten and then all the way over and up for reverse and you can see so that's it pretty much and I'm getting it down <laughs> I'll have to shoot a video for you guys in the meantime uh, we're about done fueling up and everything and we're gonna take off so, see ya. all right but you just need practice just keep that in mind that that'll be the thing you'll be doing that's funny we put what, 51 gallons in there and it's still not even coming up close it didn't get too far that's why even though the red light was on you could still go 100 miles oh, 150 yeah. now. You get to drive on one of these trucks, take a wire or a stick. So you can always don't rely on a gauge and then that works. Right. Right. We had to do that in Fairbanks with our fuel tank. No. Stay over there a little bit. Don't get too close here. Okay, wait for a nice good opening where you can get over that left hand lane.
committed, one and no return, and keep on moving. See? Now it turned yellow at the intersection, so that was a good call. But you'll all develop your point of no return. There will be a point where you got to keep moving, you know. But you see he slowed down when he first saw that turn signal that was green, because it might have been stale. You know? And it was fixing the turn, but that's good. Okay, now the tire shop is up here. And remember how we got in there the other day. Now you got to do that blind side pack. If you want to do that, that's fine, or I'll do it. But if you want to try it, we'll let you try it. Now normally I'd say is turn around and go the other way and put it in, but there is no other way here. Right. Right. So you'd be blocking traffic, and that would be no good. the tire signs up here so you're coming up on it.